hello, hello. Visualizing a, uh, a 17th century French mansion. <laughs> um, I like that stuff. I really like um, is it 17th century stuff, right? Or is it 16th century? I don't know. <laughs> um, anyway, um, so thank you for your support. Thank you for tuning in. Thank you for liking and subscribing. I'm getting more and more subscribers, and I'm really jazzed about that. Um, if it looks a little blurry, that's mainly because I have soft light in this room. I don't want bright light right now. Um, so, what was I going to talk about? I was going to talk about um, one of the best things you can do. Now, I know that Neville doesn't really talk about affirmations, but he does sometimes. He has mentioned affirming type things, but it doesn't matter whether it's Neville proper. Affirmations can help you, okay? Um, it helps to train the mind to focus on what you want. So you want to focus on um, what you want. Like, are you... One of the best things is to say, things always work out for me, okay? Things always work out for me. I always get what I want. Things always work out for me. I always get what I want. So keep that one there, kind of like a mantra. And then you can also throw in the more specific ones, like, you know, I want to make $10,000 a month. I want to make, not quote myself, not I want to, I make, I'm tired right now. So I, uh, I did a lot today. So I slipped up there. You don't want to say, I want to, because then it will always be in the future. So that's actually a good segue to say, don't make anything future tense. Make it always present tense. So I make $10,000 a month. I make $20,000 a month, whatever your goal is, your comfort zone, okay? Um, and you don't always have to believe it per se. I know that we talk a lot about, you know, make it believable for you or whatever, but affirming can have real effects, even if you don't consciously believe it. You're training yourself to believe it. So even if in the beginning it doesn't sound that natural, over time, your mind will absorb it, right? So you're training your subconscious to accept that thought as natural. So sprinkled in with the, I always get what I want, things always work out for me. You can sprinkle in things like, I'm a money magnet. Money loves me, right? Money finds a home with me, right? I receive money from, you know, uh, what is it? What's that one? Money comes to me frequently and easily. I receive money from unknown sources and in great amounts. You know, be creative. Okay? Um, I'm talking about money because that's what a lot of people are into. Um, it could be, you know, my SP is wild about me. My SP can't sleep without dreaming about me. My SP is always dreaming about me, always thinking about me, you know. So whatever you're into, whatever you're focusing on, you know, use that as the subject matter. I like talking about money. Money makes me happy. It's not money itself. It's what it's the things you can do with money, the freedom. So, and, and a lot of people want that sort of thing. So that's why I started off with that. It could be anything, you know, whatever your focus is on. I mean, if you're a student, it might be getting great grades. 
It might be landing that perfect job or a perfect career. It doesn't matter what. You can create anything. Any subject matter is on the table. Okay, you need to understand that. Any subject matter you can think of is on the table. It's all fair game. And you deserve it. If you can think about it, if the desire is there, you know, it, it means that your, you know, your, your, your subconscious came up with it. So why wouldn't it be, you know, kosher, right? <laughs> to use a term like that. So remember, throw in the general things like, you know, uh, you know, if we're talking about the money thing again, you know, or, or anything, like things always work out for me, work not just for money, but for jobs, SPs. That's a general affirmation. I always get what I want. That's a general affirmation. So throw in the general affirmations like that, and then use the more specific ones as well to retrain your mind to accept the thought more easily. Right? We have so many thoughts through the day. I mean, think about, I mean, you catch yourself thinking about all kinds of crazy little things, minutia, and um, a lot of those are limiting thoughts. And you're, you're, you're battling years of that, right? You're reprogramming yourself from years of that, decades, right? Depending on how old you are. And I don't know how many years you've been in this body, in this reality. So, um, yeah, it, keep doing it over and over again. Keep training that subconscious mind to accept those, those, those um, positive thoughts, those things you want. And affirmations are a great way to do that. So in addition to the visualization before bed or when you're meditating or relaxing, however you do your thinking from the wish fulfilled, the affirmations are a form of thinking from the wish fulfilled. You're filling your mind with the wish fulfilled when, when, when you're targeting your affirmations to what you want. So, of course, that fits in, and that's positive, and that works. Right? So, um, I hope that that sort of thing is useful to someone out there, that it's welcome, accepted information, and try it. Try it. Do it. This is part of doing the work, right? You can watch a million YouTube videos. You can watch me. You can watch this one, that one. And if all you do is watch, you know, watching is great. It helps you to refocus. I watch people on YouTube all the time, but, I mean, not all the time. I'm doing a fair amount of my own thing. I do the work, you know. You, you you can't just watch, you know, there's a YouTuber out there, I forget who, but somebody was saying something like, um, you know, you can, it was a woman, you can, you can um, uh, watch videos about how to ride a bike, you know. You can watch all these videos about how to ride a bike, how to ride a bike, read books about how to ride a bike. If you don't actually get on the bike and learn how to ride it, you're never going to learn how to ride a bike. That, that's a very good example that stuck with me. So I think that was uh, Ray manifesting with an 11. Yeah, she's really good. Check her out. Uh, she only has like 20 videos out there, but they're they're fantastic. Um, so yeah, do the work. Do the work. Um, and, and do the affirmations and sprinkle the general affirmations in with the specific ones and retrain that mind. That's part of your mental diet. All right. See you in the next video. Please like and thumbs up, uh, like and subscribe. And um, please go back and look at the Neville stuff. I've got lots of Neville stuff in my my video. I mean, I've got like I don't know, almost 200 videos as the time I'm recording this. So um, there's a lot of stuff in there. It's not just me talking to the camera. I, I included, I wanted to have Neville on my channel as well, not just me talking. Um, so 
I want to be able to provide everything right here on my channel. And that's what I aim to do. So thank you, and uh, see you soon.